the interstellar visitor designated 3I Atlas, the third object, confirmed to have originated beyond our solar system, was already one of the most enigmatic bodies ever detected before its latest and most confounding twist. After months of observation, astronomers noticed something that seemed impossible within the framework of known celestial mechanics. The object abruptly reversed its trajectory without any apparent external influence or physical mechanism capable of producing such an effect. 3i Atlas has defied explanation. Its motion through the solar system, already strange, has become a source of profound confusion and unease within NASA and the broader scientific community. When 3i Atlas was first detected, its hyperbolic orbit immediately identified it as an interstellar traveler. Much like its predecessors, 1i Oumuamua and 2i Borisov, its initial approach was swift, slicing through the outer solar system at a velocity far too high to be bound by the sun's gravity. Telescopes around the world quickly turned toward the faint, rapidly moving dot. Early analyses suggested it was an elongated body, possibly tumbling, reflecting sunlight with a dull, irregular sheen. Nothing about it was particularly alarming until a few weeks into its passage, when subtle deviations began to emerge. Its trajectory did not fit precisely with predictions. Small anomalies in acceleration hinted that some unknown force was acting upon it, though at first these were dismissed as observational errors or outgassing effects similar to those seen in comets. But 3i Atlas was cold, inert, and lacked the dusty halo that would indicate sublimation of ice. As 3i Atlas passed through the inner solar system, its behavior grew even stranger. Instruments aboard NASA's Deep Space Network recorded slight shifts in its velocity vector, inconsistent with known gravitational influences. The data suggested a pattern of minute decelerations and accelerations, almost rhythmic, as though the object were adjusting its course deliberately. Yet nothing in known physics could account for an interstellar rock exhibiting such behavior. By the time it crossed the orbit of Mars, teams at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory had ruled out most conventional explanations. Radiation pressure from the Sun was too weak to produce the observed deviations, and there were no known magnetic or solar wind phenomena that could induce such a controlled pattern of motion. Then came the reversal. As 3i Atlas continued outward beyond Jupiter's orbit, its velocity slowed in a manner that seemed purposeful. Telescopes in Chile and Hawaii reported the first unmistakable signs. The object's motion relative to background stars had changed direction. Within just a few weeks, the hyperbolic escape path that should have carried it forever away from the sun appeared to bend inward. Computer models showed the impossible. The trajectory had reversed. Instead of fleeing toward interstellar space, Fasi Atlas was now heading back toward the solar system, accelerating along a return course that no known physical law could produce. For NASA, the event triggered an immediate re-examination of every line of data. The reversal could not be explained by gravitational capture. The Sun lacked the energy necessary to pull an object moving at that speed back into orbit. Nor could Jupiter or Saturn, massive as they are, have provided a slingshot, powerful enough to redirect Theosium Atlas, the simplest hypothesis and error in measurement, was quickly eliminated as Independent observatories confirmed the reversal, using radar and optical data. Whatever was driving 3i Atlas to turn around was real. The object had changed its direction under some unknown form of propulsion, though there was no visible emission, plume, or energy signature accompanying the maneuver. In the control rooms of NASA and other space agencies, the atmosphere turned from excitement to disbelief. The implications of a non-gravitational reversal were staggering. If 3i Atlas had indeed altered its trajectory, then the forces acting upon it were not natural. It suggested either the presence of mechanisms within the object, some internal system capable of generating thrust, or the influence of an external factor not yet understood. The idea that the object might be artificial was whispered, but not spoken officially. Scientists wary of sensationalism avoided invoking intelligence or purpose, yet privately many were forced to admit that no natural explanation fit the data. As the object approached its new inbound path, instruments were trained on it continuously. Spectroscopic analyses were performed to detect any sign of chemical activity, 
ion emissions or heat signatures that might indicate an outgassing or reaction process. None were found. 3i Atlas remained dark, reflecting light weakly with a surface spectrum unlike any asteroid or comet catalogued before. It appeared metallic in composition, though the ratio of reflected wavelengths did not match known alloys. There were no thermal spikes, no radiative fluctuations, no evidence of volatile materials. Its silence in every measurable wavelength deepened the mystery. Whatever had caused the reversal had left no detectable trace. Theoretical physicists began to speculate in increasingly daring terms. Some suggested the object could be composed of exotic matter, interacting differently with gravitational fields. Others proposed that it might be exploiting quantum effects or responding to an unknown form of cosmic drag. A few considered the possibility that 3i Atlas was not a single body at all, but a fragment of a larger structure, perhaps responding to remote stimuli. None of these explanations satisfied the data completely, yet they underscored the enormity of the puzzle. A reversal in motion implied either control or physics that humanity had not yet grasped. The reversal also had a precise timing that made it more unsettling. It occurred just after the object had passed the heliopause, the boundary separating the solar wind from interstellar space. The timing suggested a relationship between the solar environment and the object's behavior. Perhaps some property of the heliospheric current sheet had triggered the change, or maybe the object had responded to the transition between different plasma densities. Whatever the cause, Three Eyes Atlas appeared to have reacted to a specific threshold, as though it recognized it. When NASA's New Horizons probe was repurposed to take long-distance observations, its instruments captured faint imagery, confirming the reversal trajectory. Three High Atlas was accelerating at a steady rate, inconsistent with passive drift. Calculations showed that the acceleration was smooth and continuous, not impulsive. This suggested sustained thrust rather than a single event, again an impossibility for a natural body. The data indicated that the acceleration matched the curve of what might be expected from an ion drive or some form of directed propulsion, but no known system could function without emitting radiation detectable by the array of sensors that had been tracking it. The silence across the electromagnetic spectrum remained absolute. As the weeks turned into months, 3i Atlas continued on its reversed path, approaching the outer planets again. The realization began to sink in that the object was returning on nearly the same vector from which it had arrived, as if retracing its steps. Astronomers debated whether this meant the reversal was pre-programmed, a kind of automated maneuver, responding to distance, sunlight, or gravitational influence. The symmetry of its path was uncanny, almost deliberate, even without invoking intelligence. The trajectory implied precision far beyond any chaotic natural process. Within NASA's astrophysics division, the discovery prompted long nights of heated discussion. The protocols for interstellar object observation were rewritten and all available instruments were recalibrated. Teams from the European Space Agency, JAXA and CNSA collaborated to cross-verify data. None could find a flaw in the measurements. The reversal remained fact, standing as one of the most inexplicable astronomical events in modern history. Some scientists began to compare it to the mysteries of dark matter or dark energy, unseen forces dictating the motion of galaxies, but on a microcosmic scale within our own solar neighborhood, the question of causality dominated every conversation. If 3i Atlas had changed direction due to an external force, what could it have been? The solar wind was weak, incapable of producing the sustained acceleration. Magnetic reconnection events in the heliospheric current sheet might nudge charged particles, but not a multimeter object. Gravity from unseen bodies could not produce a reversal so sharp. Every simulation run by NASA's computational astrophysics team ended the same way. The only way for the trajectory to invert was if the object had generated thrust. That conclusion brought with it a wave of existential speculation. If 3i Atlas was self-propelled, it might not be a natural relic of interstellar space. Perhaps it was a probe or a remnant of something far older. The idea of an automated interstellar mechanism coasting between stars and adjusting its path according to unknown parameters was both thrilling and unsettling. Humanity had long searched for signs of extraterrestrial technology through radio waves and megastructures. 
Yet here was a silent object, moving under its own power with no emissions to betray its nature.